Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick video before this thunderstorm It's getting off the black There's a few rumbles, the thunder starts pouring down on me What do you think of the meteorite that crashed the earth uh, yesterday in uh, Australia? I think it was yesterday, anywhere the day before They say it was uh, something in the equivalent to size of a small nuclear weapon If it had hurt a populated area, it would have basically wiped out that area, but luckily it exploded in mid-air over somewhere over Australia. Lucky that, innit? It's a good job it wasn't over London or over New York. I'm just down here on a local walk. Hey Jesse, come on. Just relaxing. The last day of the bank holiday. So, what do you think about the, the strange goings on in space, guys? We want to talk about this for a while. I mean, NASA lately have been saying, well, you can't really like the top pash, but we'll just go with them for a wee while. <sighs> Donald Trump wants to go back to the moon, right? And NASA keeps saying, oh, we can't go, we've lost our technology. I mean, how do, how do you lose? How do you actually lose the technology? I mean, it's not as if um, it fell out of their pocket. I don't think they ever went to the moon in the first place, but that's just my opinion. I think they've never had the technology in the first place. I think that's that's what's happened. But lately you've been hearing more and more about these asteroids coming into the atmosphere. And there was one past the Earth the other day. It was a mile wide. And it went in between the moon and the Earth. God. I think they're trying to get us ready for something, guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on in space. I just don't know. There is something coming. I don't know if it's going to be a natural disaster. I don't know if it's going to be an asteroid strike. I don't know if it's going to be war. Because let's face it, we fight with everybody. We're not exactly the nicest race in the universe, are we? Strange things are afoot in NASA. I mean, Donald Trump gave them loads of money to find their technology again. They still can't find it. I wonder, I wonder how they lose, lost that technology. I just don't think they had it in the first place. Ah, dear guys. And then you've got the Britain with the EU. I see you, Cap. Um, Nigel's part of the Bratrix party won quite a lot of seats in the European elections, which is good. Hopefully, we'll actually leave. Now they're saying that Boris Johnson could be the next Prime Minister. God help us all. So I can say, God help us all. We might as well just go and throw ourselves off the cliffs now. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's kind of a wind trap here. It's quite low down. I just don't know. The British politics nowadays are... This country's... had it. It's gone. They want that other Muslim guy in. They want him in. Oh God. Can you imagine if he gets in? He wants to unite the British Muslims. What he means is he wants to turn this country into Sharia law. You'll know be allowed to do anything. Don't you begin in there, Jesse. Standing here waiting for this. There's like salmon in that swim up here. Sometimes you can see them jumping. Ah, dear. Jesse's meant me to throw a stone into the water, but I'm not doing it. Because then she'll get all wet. I just don't know, guys. Strange things are afoot in the world. In politics, I think the end times are near. I really do. I don't think we've got long. Iran having fights with America, America having fights with Iran just because they want their oil, and they're saying they're letting off mines in the water, destroying the oil tankers, which I don't think is happening. I think Saudi Arabia just wants them invaded so they're took care of, so they can have their oil, and that's all it's about. It's oil. That's the Middle East it was about. 
Look at that. There was meant to be weapons of mass destruction there. And there was nothing. There was not one single weapon of mass destruction. There was not even sarin gas. There was nothing. There was no missiles, chemical weapons found. I mean, maybe, maybe they've been gave away to Iran, I don't know, in other countries before they evaded, but... It's the same with that Dr Kelly, I mean, he didn't want to go to the Iraq war and that, and then he was found mysteriously dead, and... If you don't agree with the system, it's a crime, you know? If they don't like you, they get rid of you. I just don't know, guys. See the sand martins flying in their wee houses? See the holes there, that's sand martins. Ah well, guys, this is just a quick video, just a, an update to the, the bank holiday. Hope you're all having a great weekend. I uh, hope you've all had a great weekend, I should say. Uh, it's been raining here non-stop. It was dry yesterday for about an hour. <laughs> I just hope that thunder's not going to come back. You can see how black it is. So I'm just going to sit at the bank and here relax for a little while. Then I'll need to get up home and cut my grass. So I'll catch you all later, guys. And I'll do another video tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can find out more about the, the meteor strikes. Is there something strange going on? Something really weird. Going on, you know, in space and with Donald Trump's space force. I think there's more. There's more to this than asked. Right, guys, listen. I'm going to go now, but I'll catch you all later. And look at all the wee sand martins flying about. See them? See them? See them? If you stand still long enough, the the land next to you, you can hear the plane coming over, probably spraying us with chemicals as we speak. Get up. Hey guys, I'm going to head, and there's Jesse. Hey Jesse, see? Eh? She thinks I've got a stone in my hand. <laughs> anyway guys, I'll catch you later, and remember subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and catch you all later. Bye.